Good morning beautiful people, I'm Alex and this is Gingerhead and Co, my sewing vlog. My dogs decided not to leave the room at all, so nothing can get them out. So they're both here and Lily decided, Lily's my little dog, that's Lily, and she doesn't want to leave. So, well, that's why Lily's here. My dogs, or generally my pets, are the and co part in the name of the channel, because they're always here. They always follow me, they always sit in the sewing room. So basically, most of the things that I make are not made by me. The things that I make are made <laughs> by my dogs, my cats and other pets. I'm going to try and get rid of her again. I mean, they're still here. So they're going to shake the camera and they're going to disturb me. Tough. But I wanted to record a quick video because I wanted to show you some of the things that I made, well, last week. <laughs> If I don't show you, I'll forget. I'm not going to show you everything ever that I make ever because most of the things that that I make are not that fascinating or most of the things are usually repeats or something that I wear. Like I make a lot of basics. Perhaps you don't have to see them all. But I was playing around with some patterns, some tried and tested patterns and, uh, and I had quite a lot of fun. I was experimenting with the patterns that I have already used that I know but I just wanted to, to check if they work, how they work and you know I tried to change them and I tried to kind of make something that is quite easy but I would still feel creative. First of all I'm going to tell you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a top that I made from the Simplicity button S8982 from this button and I decided that I'm going to try because I like the silhouette of the button you might have seen the video where I was showing you three tops from this pattern and I love this pattern, I'm going to use it a lot, especially the top pattern and I made one in some leftover scuba that I had I had no intention of making it in scuba but I had just enough for the top and the top is sleeveless and I just cover stitched that so it's basically a muslin and I'm not sure if I'm going to wear it or whether I'm going to wear it a lot maybe I'm going to wear it a bit I didn't want to kind of throw away this piece of of fabric. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to change the pattern slightly if I want to make it sleeveless and if I want to make it like that. And I do want to make it sleeveless. I always use my top patterns to kind of tweak them. And because I like the shape of the top, I decided that this might be reused. But I think it needs... See, there is some gaping here. So I need to change that. Either use stretcher fabric, maybe not as thick as scuba although this this is not like super thick scuba but but still it is scuba i'm wearing it and it looks like that right so there is slight gapage here but that could be sorted out with some some binding although i didn't want to use binding because i thought that it could look good without we'll see that is not really gaping that much I'll show you without the mic later and that's it and I'm also wearing a skirt made of the same scuba and the skirt is my very much overused pattern that's new look 6035 that's this pattern but because I have used this pattern many many times I've changed it so this is a pattern that is more like my self-drafted I compared the two my self-drafted a-line and uh, this one and they get like closer and closer every time I change it but I think I've perfected the pattern for me and I've got it drafted, well, I've got it kind of changed, tweaked for three different types of fabric. <laughs> One kind of thick zero stretch whatsoever, so woven cord or jeans or something like that. One for slightly stretchy fabric and one for stretchier fabric, like um, French terry. I wouldn't make this skirt in very stretchy fabric or flimsy fabric, it wouldn't look good. But uh, if I make it in decently stretchy fabric, I don't need a zip and it takes me, I don't know, half an hour to make it, to kind of cut it out and make it. This is an emergency skirt. If you ever feel that you need to make a skirt because you need it for something, that would be my emergency skirt. Like before going to work, you have nothing to wear, you can make a, you can sew a skirt. I've never tried. I have made 
a jumper and I have made a cardigan before I went to work and I naturally wake up very very early so sometimes I just want to use this time and uh, do something but I usually do my cutting in the morning because it's, it's quite a quiet activity and if you start doing something at five o'clock in the morning maybe that needs to be considered so that's my outfit and I wanted to mention that uh, just because I'm wearing it I'm not sure if it worked I think it looks very like uh, together it looks very 60s and uh, not in the best way so kind of like a sacred green a big corporation in the 60s when i look at myself i think that's the image that uh, appears in my head it, it has nothing to do with reality the images in my head often don't have any representation in the reality but i immediately thought it's like a secretary from mad men or, or something so the 60s but not really appealing but separately yeah why not and i'm definitely going to use the skirt because i love those skirts i love this button and myself drafted pattern there are skirts that I make a lot and I wear a lot and they're always they're sort of my safe skirts if I don't really know what to wear I wear this skirt and a plain top for example and sometimes a smart jacket and they still work that's my safe zone <laughs> because I wanted to make something for my sister and uh, I well I made a dress for her my Cole's dress but uh, it didn't really work I put it in in a video about my fails when I was very unhappy with things that I was making I was generally that was like the, the worst day for for some time and I'm generally quite optimistic or it's very easy to make me happy I don't need a lot to make me happy and my sister knows the best trick to make me happy, give me whiskey, good whiskey, like um, Ardberg or something like that. Even if I'm really angry, even even if I'm really, really sad or, or whatever the emotion, it can change into a smile. It's enough for me to sniff my favorite whiskies and I'm like, oh, I can't stop smiling. So that's a good trick. Well, anyways, the dress for my sister was a fail and I wanted to make her something else. It's, uh, well, it's her birthday and I'm not going to see her for her birthday, but also because of the circumstances, because there are no flights and all that, my sister is not going to be here as she was supposed to, to. So she's not going to visit me in May, which sucks, really sucks, because I really miss my sister. But I wanted to give her something then when she visits, but she is not going to visit then. She's going to visit later when she can. So I don't know. I'm probably not going to post the clothes that I make for her because that would mean that uh, she can't really try them on and decide that I need to change something. So it's better if she comes here, tries them on, and then maybe decides that she wants them, she doesn't want them, she doesn't want them in this form or something. But I wanted to make her something for her birthday. So I made her two skirts and my sister loves scuba skirts so both are scuba skirts i used the new look pattern 6035 again but for her so the again it is tweaked i tweak my pattern so much that sometimes when i talk about the repeats you might think that it's a different pattern because i tend to change my patterns i changed the waistband because my sister said that the waist was too wide for her well she's taller she has smaller waist than me and bigger hips than me so she's more like hourglass well not, not very much but but still she's slightly different so i changed the, the waistline and i added elastic white elastic here and i know that it's not glamorous it's not posh it's not something stunning but it's comfortable and that's what she wanted and she likes the, the skirts they are safe i know that she's going to wear them and she wears them a lot so that's the first one that's just a line with a wide waist and it's not a yoke it's just a waist a tunnel where I put the elastic right and this is in the scuba that I have used before so you might know it it's very vivid in real life I'm not sure how much you can see because sometimes I watch the videos and I'm like hmm, different colors but I don't know I'm not very technical I can't really do much about it 
So that's it. I have blind hand it and my sister usually prefers cover stitch. It needs a bit more pressing, but if I'll press it again, it will need to be pressed again before I give it to her. But that's blind ham. But I like using my blind, blind hammer. I want to use my blind hammer. And <laughs> I think it, if I don't use it at least once a week, it's just, it's pointless having one. I wanted to use it. So I blind hammed everything that I've made recently. <laughs> but because, you know, every machine needs to be used. Every machine needs to be pampered and loved and uh, cleaned and oiled and talked to and sometimes sworn at. Machines are a bit like people. No, they are not. I don't really believe that. I know that machines are not animate. <laughs> so I know that they are just objects, but so what? I do talk to my machines. I shout at my machines and I swear at my machines sometimes. But normally I, I talk to them lovingly. So that's the second skirt. And yes, it's identical to mine. Apart from the waistband, because the waistband is made smaller with elastic it's kind of double safety hopefully my sister doesn't lose any weight if my sister tells me that she's lost weight and uh, the skirts are too big i'm just going to rip her throat out i'm just going to hurt her or i'm going to force feed her i'm very good at force feeding people i like i quite like cooking and uh, i like when people like my food <laughs> So I, I do force feeding. I think it's very Polish to kind of make sure that people are not hungry when they leave you, when they leave your house. So because I like using my fabric to the, the last thread. Very often me, my sister or me and my husband, Hedge Hubby, match and, and my dogs and, and all that. So very often we, yes, we've got the same type of fabric on us. Although we try not to do it together, so like me and her shabby, we try not to <laughs> wear the same things. He doesn't mind. I do mind. I think we shouldn't be matching. I don't mind matching my dogs. So it's absolutely fine if I look precisely like my dogs, just in a human form. It's absolutely fine, but not <laughs> not with my hair shabby. I don't know. I generally have a problem with like marriage and things so it's a big step for me to even have a husband ever okay so well that's pretty much it hopefully the video is not going to be too long so one skirt the other skirt my skirt and my top what do you think <laughs> what have you been making i really like when you tell me or if if you want to you can tag me on instagram because i like when people show me what they made because this is a channel that is generally made for conversations not not just my monologue because i, I don't really understand why i should be talking and you should be listening because that's that's a bit pointless so i do hope that you're going to tell me what you've been making and uh, whether you've been successful or not you can tell me everything and seriously i'm very very bad at keeping secrets i have no secrets in life because i would have told everyone immediately it's just impossible for me to keep a secret okay have a lovely day or the rest of it thank you very much for watching and see you soon bye